Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial for today. I'm still your friend, the little woman. And I hope I meet all of us safe and sound. Today we are going to be making a simple fitted and twisted pencil skirt as it appears on your screen. It is a highly requested tutorial by one of us. Okay, I'll be using one and a half yards of this fabric that I laid out on the table for it. I already cut this. This is what I'll be using for the skirt. Okay, so for this skirt, you have to cut the basic skirt first of all before you talk about the twist at the front. Okay, my measurement will start from here. And nine inches below my waistline is my hip line, which is this line here. But I added half an inch for fold because i'll be using a little band at the waistline okay so what you have here is nine and a half inches that is the hip line so i'll be placing my waist measurement here which is eight and a half plus two inches allowance And then my hip measurement, 10 and a half. I have one and a half inches here as allowance. The fabric is actually stretchy, okay? So even if I use my accurate measurement to make it, I will still need to narrow it down when I'm sewing it. I hope you understand it. If not, it will not be clingy on the body. So I'll connect the waist to the hip and then at the lower part I will take away one and a half inches and connect it to my hip measurement Okay. Already my fabric I folded into four because I'm cutting both the front and the back together. My zipper allowance is just one inch. The length of my skirt is 26 inches, but I have here 27 and a half inches. Okay, so having explained and marked it out, I'll just go ahead and cut. Okay, so having cut it out at the center, the front skirt at the center, I will remove half an inch and connect it with a slight curve to this point, just at the front. I'll also cut it out. All right, so now the back center, the back midpoint is now half an inch longer than the front midpoint. Okay, I'll also notch the exact length of my skirt just to know where I will put the fold. All right. All right, so having cut this out, I've removed the back panel. This is the front. This line here is the midpoint. This is the hip line. So our twist is going to fall on the hip line. Okay. Now I also cut this one. This is for our twist. Okay. And this is about... This is about five inches away from the midpoint. This is our midpoint. I hope you see it. And then we have this left. Okay. If you had more fabric, you can still shift it. Okay. 
the intention was to divide this other half into two and make sure that this the twist falls on it all right but since i'm not having enough fabric that's why mine is just five inches away from the midpoint if you have enough fabric you can shift yours very well so that the twist will now fall at the side okay now having done that this also is the midpoint sorry the hip line just as we have on the front skirt just as we have here okay it is also the same thing we have here also for this twist for this piece you can see clearly it is not the same length with the skirt i hope you see the excess all right excess of about four inches okay just here for the for the one at the side it is still the same length but this place is longer than our skirt i hope it's clear enough all right the next thing will be to now slightly curve this i have to remove this one for now so now we have the piece for the twist that's what we have here now okay all right so i have to give it a slight curve from this point this is the waistline a slight curve from here towards the hip line and then a little curve also down this way this is what i mean okay and then maybe i'll use two inches at this lower side to connect to this place i hope you understand what i did and then this way i'll also cut it out all right so now we have the twist piece for one side I'll still bring our skirt front to do the other side of the twist. Now, on the other side, you determine how many inches your twist is going to cover at the hip side. For me, I'll use 16 inches. That's from the waistline. 16 inches, which is here. I hope you get it. Okay. So now, since the length you are working with is now 16 inches, you cut a straight fabric, just as I've done, like this, making sure that the width here is 8 inches plus your sewing allowance, so that by the time you join them together, it becomes 16 inches, okay? So I have here 9 inches, which is okay. I will fold here and also fold this side to have just eight inches okay now the next thing i will do will be this is obviously too long but it's not a problem because you you can always remove the excesses at the end of the day okay so the next thing i will do now will be to go to the machine fold from here This is the twist piece of one side. This is the second twist. Okay. So I'll go to the machine, fold this curve I made here down to the hemline. Okay. And then for this one, I fold it into two like this.
and then I'll okay I'll first of all fold here okay and fold here then I'll fold it into two leaving about one inch I will close it up I hope you understood what I did when I do it and come back you will understand better all right so I've made the I folded the curve I've also folded one side of the other side of the pieces of twist okay I have to remove this one so that we don't get confused like we said this is the hip line okay and I said I extended my own fabric with five inches away from the midpoint of the skirt front okay so we can assume we now have four inches sorry four and a half inches having used half inch to fold this curve okay so the next thing we're going to do is to make a little opening just very small opening not at this midpoint remember this is the midpoint of our skirt front okay and i extended it by five inches when i was cutting this one i hope you understand all right so now i will use about two inches so on these two inches i will make a little opening okay and then I'm going to pass this this other pieces of twist through here okay so you make opening enough that will contain this All right, so now having passed it, I hope you see it. I will then join these two together. I will stick it together so that it becomes one fabric, okay? So that this opening is no longer here. So I'll go to the machine, stitch it together. So this is what we have when I closed it together. Okay. Remember I said the length of our twist is 16 inches. So I'll spread this from here to my 16 inches. When I spread it, I'm supposed to hold it, but I just needed to show you the outcome first of all. Okay. The next thing will be to craftily fold here a little so that it will have some creases. Just use your common sense to fold this part just to give it some crease or fold. Okay, all right, so you should have something like this. I've tried to use my pin to hold it. I hope you see it. All I did here was just to knot it. I can remove it so that you see. I hope you see. All I did was just to stretch it. And then knot it. And still hide it here. So that I do see this effect. 
I hope you get that. So I will losing it also now. I will losing it. I mean, I'll remove the paint because you will need to finish this twist first before attaching it to the skirt. So now having determined how to do it, you're losing it and then just stretch the bigger side of the twist. That was the part I knotted. Okay, just stretch it and knot it very, very tight and still find a way to hide it here. Okay, where this one crossed. All right. Okay, so the next thing I did after the knot in here, meanwhile, you can see I carefully hid it. You cannot see the knot here. The next thing I did was to join the twist at the two sides. You see, I've joined this one here. I also joined this one here. So I will now carefully cut this excess off. And please remember, when you are joining the twist, it doesn't have to be of equal measurement with your skirt. Okay? It is even best if you use lacquer, you know, that stretchy fabric. Okay? So that when you wear it, you can see my own is not the same measurement with my skirt. You can see the clumsiness here. But when I wear it, my hip will now be able to stretch it so that this design will now come out very well okay so you make sure that in joining it the twist is shorter than the skirt okay so i will now carefully cut this one off like i said the length here is 16 inches you are at liberty to choose how many inches you want yours to be i will cut it off now and then i inserted that in that picture, there was no doubt because that, that fabric is a lacquer fabric. It is very, very stretchy, so it can fit any body type. But I inserted that because this is not a lacquer material. Okay? So I will also go ahead and insert that at the back panels, put my zipper, and then join at the two sides fold the hemline and that is all all right so i've done the joining as you can see the skirt is longer i hope you see that's why it's folding here okay but by the time i wear it now and then my hip takes here you see it it will now balance very very well Okay, so if you see it folding this way, if yours fold this way, it's not a mistake. Okay, by the time you wear it and then your hip fills this place up, it will now set and balance very, very well. Thank you for watching to the end. To the person who requested this tutorial, I hope you understood it perfectly. Like I said, the only thing I did here was to knot it. Just to knot it and then hide it properly okay there was nothing much i did thank you once again feel free to try your own till we meet in my next tutorial i hope to see you stronger and better i love you all from the bottom of my heart bye don't forget to be kind and love people around you